So the Bible mentioned six different types of resurrection. So let's go to the word today. Amen. Hallelujah. Now resurrection is different from raising the dead. When Lazarus was raised from the dead, was that resurrection? Okay. Was that resurrection? You can see resurrection, but you, you, you know, if you are dead and I pray for you, you come back to life, you see that again. Okay? But resurrection here is rising from the dead with a celestial or heavenly body, glorified body, and never to die again. When you raise the dead, they will see that again. They are still flesh and blood. Is that clear? Heavenly body, glorified body, and never to die again. That is the book of the church. If there is no resurrection, then there is no need for faith. If it is, you know, just to live and die and end there, then there is no need for God. But man is a spirit in a body. And we have a future beyond the grave. Amen. So let's go to the word as fast as possible. The first resurrection, Matthew 28, verse 5 and 6. Matthew 28, verse 5 and 6. The first resurrection. And that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, for 2,000 years, Jesus walked on this world. He preached, saved, saved life, healed, he was crucified, he was buried, but Jesus is not in the grave. Why? Matthew 28 verse 5 and 6 says, And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear ye not, for I know that you seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is help of reason that three words. He is risen all time. He is risen. As he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. The only human being on earth with an empty tomb is Jesus. Come and see the place where he was buried. They saw it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thousands and thousands of, of, of pilgrims who go to Israel, they enter the grave of Christ even today. He is not there. Amen. You want to see visit Mecca, you can see the, the grave of Muhammad. He is still in Bam. Died there in the grave. The only empty grave is the grave of who? Jesus. Why? He is risen. Hallelujah. Resurrection here is not rising from the dead like human being rising to the, from the dead to live natural life and die again. Resurrection here is rising from the dead with a transformed body. Amen. Amen. It's a transformed body. Transform. From earthly body, body to celestial body, to glorified body, glorified that you have no more limitations. Say no more limitations. Say no more limitations. And one day, not only Christ, but here we see that Jesus, read the see the verse please. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear he, fear not he, for I know that you seek Jesus, which is which was crucified. He is not here. Hello? Here they stand for what? The grave. The grave, yeah. Hello? Yeah. Say the dead, I said, well, he is not among us. He is not here. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is not in the grave. He is risen. So the first resurrection we see this morning is who? The resurrection of Jesus Christ. He died, he was buried, and raised again. Amen. Alive forever. Amen. If Christ died, and then remain in the grave then that could have been the end of Christianity yeah. but Jesus is alive say Jesus, Jesus. is alive. alive not just spiritually no you see people can be alive in spiritual dimension but when Jesus rose from the dead he was not a spirit to touch my body 
Give me some bread to eat. Amen. So Jesus is alive as a spirit. He's alive as a person. So Jesus, Jesus. is not a spirit. He's a person. He sits on the throne. Spirits don't sit. Spirits don't eat food. Jesus said, do you have any food? To... And he himself prepared some, some fish and bread and seaside and ate together. Amen. So Jesus, Jesus. is not a spirit. He's a person. And when he went to heaven in Acts 2, as you see me go, I will come back in like manner. It's a person. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a person. It's a person. Of the, of the throne and his name is who? Jesus the second illustration this morning Matthew 27 50 to 53 this is more complicated because many believers don't know about this the resurrection of the Old Testament believers where is Noah where is Abraham where is David today where are all the Old Testament saints? Are they still in the grave? No. Matthew 27, 50 to 53 says what? Jesus, when he had cried with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Are you there? Yeah. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in between, from the top to the bottom. Something happened. And the earth did quick, and the rocks rent. What happened again? And the grace were open. And many bodies of what? Of the saints which slept arose. Hello? To the saints. The Old Testament believers. To the Old Testament believers. Had a resurrection. And came out of the grace after his resurrection. And went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So after Christ's resurrection, I follow the church. So people saw the ancestors, the Satan. They appeared unto many. This is history. So when Christ was crucified, what happened? There was earthquake. What happened again? The grace happened. What happened again? <laughs> bodies. Say bodies. bodies. What kind of body? Bodies. They came out of what condition? Is that these are people that have died hundreds of years? That is why I say God is not the God of the dead. It's the God of the living. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob they are not dead. They are living. Can I say that also? Amen. So here we see that grace opened and they came out. Came out from what? From where? They came out from the grace. Is that in the Bible? Yes. And people saw them in Jerusalem. And that's why Christ took the first, you know, transferred the paradise that was waiting place that Brown Bosom to heaven. He took captivity captive. So they are no more there. Hallelujah. Yeah. So where are the Old Testament believers? They have had their own resurrection. Mm. Are you following me, church? Right. So the Old Testament believers who died before Christ's resurrection, Christ's death, they are not in the grave. The graves open. They had what? A resurrection. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. The third resurrection, I'm preaching sure this morning, okay? Yes. And that is in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 17. That is now called the resurrection of the dead in Christ. The dead in Christ. Dead in Christ. Why dead in Christ only? Because the dead who died before Christ, they have had their own resurrection, those saints. So now when Christ comes now, what happened? The dead in Christ will rise. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. Are you there? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the throne of God, and what happened again? To the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet 
the lords of the earth, and so shall we live, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, why the dead in Christ rise? Why? Because the Old Testament saints have already had their own resurrection. So when the trumpet sounds today, the believers who die in the pit, believers who die in the Lord, who have a resurrection. And those of us who are still alive, we have what? A rapture. To meet the Lord in the air. Allah said, Never. Are you ready? So that is why I see Christianity is not issue of blessing bishop or blessing pastor. Mm -hmm. You can you can play drama in church. Yes, correct. They cannot play drama with God. Yes. yes. I said, well, you can do what? Play, play drama, drama in church. church. But not drama with God. Mm -hmm. Because when the trumpet sounds, yeah. you don't say, oh, bishop, bishop, help me. Yeah. If you are not saved, you are not saved. That's right, that's right. Amen. Amen. You must be qualified mm -hmm. to, be, to, be, to be raptured. So when the trumpet sound, yes. the dead in Christ yes. will rise. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Say so that in Christ will rise. Yes. Where are the Old Testament believers? Why not them? Yes. Because they have had their own resurrection. Yes. Amen. Yes. Are you following me? Yes. When Christ died, he was buried. Then he was walking while he was buried. Yes. No, Christ was busy while he was buried. Yes. He said, why he was buried, he went, he went to the well of the dead and preached. Why he was buried to the saints who died in the days of Noah. I went and testified that, you know, in hell I am Lord. In heaven I am Lord. And you, you guys, pack your things, let's go. Out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So transfer all of them out of, of the, of, are you following me? All of you follow me. Grace open, let's go. Amen. 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 So when the trumpet sound today, only believers who die in the Lord will resurrect. So there is hope for believers who die in the Lord. So death is a blessing, not a curse. So death is a blessing. It's not a curse. You know, when you die in the Lord, you are blessed. Hallelujah. That is why believers don't fear death. Say never. 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 I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die. Oh, somebody, somebody, somebody. <laughs> Say never. never. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die. Hey, let me see your faces. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not saying you're going to die now. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Mm. But the fear of death is because you're not ready. Yeah. Yeah. Fear of death is a real torment. Amen. Fear of death is is is. It's because you're not certain about your life. Amen. Amen. So the third resurrection, the dead in Christ will rise. And then those who are alive will be what? <coughs> Sorry. Rapture. Say rapture. Rapture. I will meet the Lord. So Christ's coming is a different fault. Amen. Amen. Second coming of Christ is in two different different division or apartment. The first one, are you following me? Yes. Is called the rapture. The rapture of the saints, Christ comes, they will not will not come on earth. Mm -hmm. Christ ends in the air yes. and takes the church home for for marriage of the Lamb. Amen. 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 I want to call the trilogy single coming of the Lord now is when Christ comes down with the, with the saints to judge the world conquer the Antichrist and hey, end the tribulation and then start paradise. I follow me church. Yes. That's different. So the rapture of the church is according to these days. The Lord said the Lord himself. The Lord, the Lord himself. The Lord himself, the Lord himself shall be sent from where? From, from heaven. heaven. Why? He was resurrected. He's in heaven. The same from heaven would walk a shout of an angel. And the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise. Now listen, look, listen, please. Hello? The mystery is only believers will hear that trumpet. That's right. It will be a surprise for the world. People will be disappearing soon. 
the day is coming that the economy of the world will collapse because the pilots will, will vanish in the air and the planes will crash. Okay? Presidents are born again will, will vanish and the nation without president. You are in a, in a fast train, conductor will vanish and maybe you are in a car driving, the driver is gone and the car is in chaos. Parents will leave to go to work and then unborn again children will come home, no father, no mother. Parents are gone. Or children who are born again, the parents who, who come, children are gone. So it's a day of confusion. That is why the United Nations cannot handle the world crisis. Everything will collapse. Because the, the, the destruction, the disaster, I have my sciences today. Just look okay, still there. The destruction, are you following me? The disaster in the world will be without no man can, can remedy any other nation. Hello? In one nation like U.S., if maybe one third of U.S. vanish one day, job vacancies, managers are gone, directors are gone, pastors are gone, bank managers are gone, airport controllers are gone, system collapse. Hello? Journalists? Are gone. <laughs> Some journalists are gone. Okay. So it's a day that will shake the whole world. But the question is are you ready for rapture? If you're ready for rapture, is that an issue of coming to church? It's being faithful. Say faithful to the Lord. Say faithfulness. Not just to man. Amen. Faithfulness is. Being accountable to Jesus, yes. that he says, Well done, good and good faithful servant. servant. It's not based on mm. pastor's standard, yes, it's based on what heavenly the, the word of God's standard. Mm. Faithfulness is not trying to make people think that you are good. Hello, uh -huh. mm. mm. faithfulness. faithfulness. Is doing it according to God's will. Yes. Just please sing God. And that is where the trouble is today. Faithfulness. I was so shocked. I, 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 you know, I was in New Mexico to bless a wedding. To, I think to preach at a wedding. And I said, okay, before I preach, I need to talk to the, the girl, the bride, and the groom. So they came to my hotel room. So I say, um, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Say yes, I'm sure, you know. I say, no, you know that wedding is for life. I say, yes, it's okay. You know what? I blessed to preach, I, I preach at a wedding, one of them. Two months after, the girl pushed her out of the house. Six months after, she has a baby, she's married to another man now. She's married. Two husbands in eight months. I don't know how she did it. But she's married. And she's a pastor. I mean, she's a pastor. She's preaching, she's a pastor. I mean, I don't about I used to work. I talk about work. The pastor. Eh? The pastor. We are in an era where people will, will look scriptures to suit their life. They look for what? Scriptures to justify the reason why yes, yes, yes. they cannot deceive God. Oh, says, Senator, yeah. be a Christian that will be raptured. Yeah. This is serious. The signs are fulfilling every day. Every day, the signs are fulfilling. And the church is not ready for rapture. Why? Because the preaching today. Is what? Be blessed. Increase. Breakthrough. More money. And at least favor. And people now hate to hear the word holiness. They hate to hear the word repent from sin. They hate to hear the word in you know, commitment. You can imagine in America, two people selling tickets to heaven. 
yeah. and they sold for forty thousand dollars. They are now arrested. Did you hear that? Yeah. Look, look for the news. We sold what tickets we had for forty thousand dollars. What kind of wife? And men will buy tickets to heaven. Uh -huh. And they sold for much forty thousand dollars. <laughs> tickets to heaven. And people, you, you see the news? It's a news. I saw it. It's a it's a tell, it's a tell. They are they arrested. You know. No. They said, you know, that God gave them a blessing. That the gold, that got golden tickets to heaven. Golden, golden what? Tickets. You just buy a horn. When you die, you, you take it, go and present at the gate to heaven. <laughs> Just buy a ticket to heaven, you are guaranteed. You buy, take a ticket to just afford a ticket to heaven. That one is easy. It's easy. Hello? So for them, it's easy to pay to buy a ticket for $25,000 than to stop sick. I better pay the ticket and live my life. To God for it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say, God help me. God help me. Oh. Amen. Faithfulness is not something good for one day. It's a life, a lifetime Amen. testimony. Amen. Amen. Say, faithfulness. Faithfulness is not measured for one day. It's not measured for one day. God feels you have your life. Are you faithful? Jesus. Amen. Are you following me, church? Yes, sir. Yeah. I was in a council meeting to uh, wanted to ordain some elders. So we called the council before the ordain elders, we interviewed the wife. So everything was said, the man was appointed for the nation. We called the wife now. That's the last person we canceled for um, approval. Yeah, I'm going to be choosing to, to ordain as the elder of the church. What do you say? Say this man. <laughs> that man is a devil. You don't, you don't know him. He's a good man in church, but after church, he's a devil. You, you want to be elder? You do too. All the boys will That is a man in church. He's giving money for projects. He's, you know, he's always there. But the wife says, this man, you have to make it the other. It's a devil. <laughs> the man who sat there quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, oh my God. My, my fear was that after the meeting is over, that woman will get the pay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the man was in the day, that was the end of it, you know. I don't know how to handle it after, after the house. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to be faithful. We need to be faithful. Amen. Number four, resurrection, please. Revelation 11, 4, 6 to 12. The resurrection of the tribulation matters. matters. These are the two olives, olive trees, and the two candlesticks standing before God of the earth. These have power to shut heaven that it rains not in the days of the prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them into blood, and to smite them the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them and kill them. And their bodies and their dead bodies shall be shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and, and Egypt, which also our Lord was crucified, and they of the people of, of, the, of and they of the people of and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their bodies or their dead bodies to be put in graves. 
And they that dwell on the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half shall the spirit from the spirit of life from God enter into them. And are you there? And they stood upon Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 11. And after three days and half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from, from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Amen. Now, this fourth resurrection, resurrection of tribulation matters. During the tribulation, during the tribulation, many people will be killed because of their faith. But there will be two special prophets that are going to be with signs and wonders, like evangelists in tribulation time. With signs and wonders preaching, announcing the gospel. And these two prophets will be killed. I follow me now, and they'll refuse to bury them. They'll put them on, on public national television and say, these liars about God, these have been killed. And now on the third day and a half, they'll come to, back to life. They'll regret their own world resurrection. And they will ascend to heaven. They'll ascend to heaven in the, in the eyes of the, all men watching. And with this also, those who are killed during tribulation will get their own resurrection. Amen. So this is the fourth resurrection for those who die for their faith in times of tribulation. You will not die or sell except you take the mark. 666. So those who refuse to take the mark will be killed. I follow also. Those who refuse to take the mark will be what? And then I tell you, people are going to be tortured for their faith. But listen. Look at you, hello. Say, God forbid that I miss the rapture. Now listen. Say, today I am saved by the blood of Jesus. I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. If you miss rapture, you are saved by your own blood. Okay? If you miss rapture, Holy Ghost is gone. No more Holy Ghost on earth. The Antichrist and demon take over. You want to be saved, you must die to save your life. Either you refuse Jesus and follow Antichrist and loss of ever, or you accept Jesus and refuse the mark and be killed. Which is easy. To be raptured now, or to, to die to save your own soul. Now, but this is careful, amen. The devil has everything in place on how to deceive believers from being raptured. You know what he's doing? Say gradually. Say gradually. 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 You know the way you tell, Papa, come, come and show something. Come here. Come here, come here please. Man, just stand here, okay? Okay? Just stand, stand here. Okay, me say, Jesus is what? The way. Amen? Gradually. 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 <laughs> gradually. 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 Now, it can take five years to take your eyes off Jesus. Through money, through job, through politics, through things. They gradually are shifting your attention from Jesus to the world. The interest is no more Jesus. His video game, his TV, his phone, his fiber, his Facebook, his Instagram, his West, his TV, his dinner. No more prayers. No more fasting. No more all night. Gradually, you are turning yourself from Christ. It's dangerous. God bless you, sir. You are saying, 
So many, many people now, their attention is not more focused on the cross or focused on Jesus. And look for something else. One pastor said, we are living in a modern age. We need to change the gospel become modern gospel. See, we need what? See, need what? Say modern world. Gospel. Modern gospel. And modern gospel is what? Inclusive gospel. Come the way you, you are. We are, we, are, we are a church. We receive anybody. We receive what? Everybody. We receive what? Everybody. But now I say, come as you are. Don't remain as you came. Amen. Amen. Come as you are. But when you come as you are, change. Amen. 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 But now, if you come as you are, I will allow you to stay as you came, something is wrong. A church is a place to change lives. Come the way you are. When I come, we receive you. But now, accept Jesus Christ. Change your life. Be born again. Be transformed. And every true child of God who is waiting for the rapture of the saints, you know that to miss the rapture is is the worst thing. It's the worst thing. And remember Lord's wife. It's a Lord's wife. Lord's wife. Was saved. But did not make it. She was saved, not so? Yes. Angel pulled her out of the world of destruction. Let yes. me say now, one law, don't look behind. Look what? Don't look. And she could not resist that one law. And she, you know why? Hello? She left with all her treasures left behind. Okay, that's, it's a journey now to you to, to paradise. But now the whole life is inviting you. Let's go for dinner. Hello? Somebody said, after you're born again for five years, I see go for dinner with your old boyfriend. It's a sign of backsliding. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. After you're what? Born again for five years. I wonder your old boyfriend said, please let's go for dinner. You can see, accept. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Understand? You're already going back. So the enemy is using for every means to bring guilt, guilt in the heart of believers to keep you from being raptured. So when the trumpet sound, you don't, you are not able to fly. What is rapture? Today, what is rapture? Okay, rapture is not jumping high. No. I, I've experienced rapture in dreams many times. I experienced a real rapture. In, I was in hell on the 10th of June 2000. God took me to hell. While in hell, I struggled everything, no way to come out. Suddenly, a light shone upon me from above, and that light just peeled me out. Rapture is what? Say the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And the fire with your Holy Spirit. I think out. Wherever the Holy Ghost dwells, Holy Ghost will pick you out. Yes. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are none of His. Romans 8, verse 9. So wherever the Holy Ghost is, there will be what? But wherever you are, you can speak in tongues, you have the Holy Ghost. You can jump and shout. So rapture is what? Holy Ghost picking all the Holy Ghost filled men and women out. So without living holy, without the Holy Spirit in your life, you might not be raptured. It's not the flesh, it's not moral life, it's spiritual life. Say spirit and spirit. Spirit and spirit. So the Holy Ghost, you know, speaks all those who are in the spirit. Those who are in the flesh stay stuck. Say never. Are you in the spirit? Or in the flesh? So those who are in the flesh, and also Anne, don't close your eyes. I know you, I know you left everybody very late. So those who are in the flesh, they need to change to be in the spirit. We are not of the flesh. Amen. Now read from Romans, Romans 8, verse 9. But this is out of my teaching. That's what we have to place, Romans 8, verse 9. Romans 8 verse 9 But you are not in the flesh 
but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. The next verse, please. 10. And if Christ is not in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit of but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Continue. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from if the, the dead. the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead. Dwells in you. Dwells in you. He who raised Christ from the dead. He will raise Christ from the dead. Will also give life to you. Will also raise you up. Through his spirit who dwells Through the Holy Ghost that dwells in you. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit are nice. Spirit. So, so I'm not in the flesh. I'm not, First, I'm not in the flesh. I am not, not in the flesh. flesh. Now those who are in the flesh, they cannot please God. You cannot please God in the flesh. I was sharing with a friend say, for me, um, I've died many times. I'm still dying. Christianity is what? Dying. It's dying. You keep dying. You keep what? Dying. So I keep dying. I keep dying. dying. We, are, we, are, we keep on dying. You keep on dying. Amen. Amen. Let me give you a short story, you know. I, I had some problem. Was I bought a land in, in Africa for well, about $6,000 for a piece of land to an elder in the church. I go to work. Okay, God bless them, work in Jesus' name. See American life. Black say, okay, you are blessed. Amen. Amen. Now listen, I bought a piece of land I went to Africa for a conference, an elder in a church called Full Gospel. To be sure I have a land. I went there, I said, I want to buy land with the, with the chief signed the paper. Mm. He went to the chief of the village and go what? Sign. Mm. I took the visit to a lawyer. The lawyer said they filed the document. I paid him six thousand dollars. To go back, another man is building in the place already. Wow. What? I've said money that more blocks. The man was just a caretaker. Oh my God. They sold the place to me. And the chief got money and signed. I lost my place. He's an elder in the church. The children are paid the children's school fees. What will he do? When I go and see me run away. So why did I stop my car say come? I forgive you. Go. And you don't owe me. Just go in. It's over. No, I did that to clear my heart for rapture. Amen. Because I've been, I've been seeing him, I sat thinking and worrying, I've been driving in the street, I passed by that land, my mind said, I lost my money. <laughs> <laughs> so I released myself. Amen. To be raptured, you need to die in many deaths. Don't just hold on your right, say, my right, my right, my right. You need to say, I'm sorry, many times without even being guilty. Just for peace sake. Say, are you dead? <laughs> we are still alive. Did you die? If you are so touchy, they touch it here, you shout, they touch it here, you scream. Man, you will be screaming in hell. God forbid. You need to die. I killed and I crucified myself. I tried. Arrogance. I set will. I crucify myself in Jesus' name. Amen. What a time, please. Number five, resurrection. And I saw the dead small and great. It's small and great. It's small and great. That means what? Of all ages. So I saw the dead. Young men and old men. Okay? Stand before God and the books were open. The books were open. I will think about why all these books? They are in category. Expire in adultery, they have the whole book. Baxadas have the whole books. Church liars have the whole book. <laughs> okay. Hypocrites have that old book. <laughs> Abrobites have that old book. Uh, gossipers have, I mean, books. Books of all subjects. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. The believers have only one book. It's called what? The book of life. Amen. 
what you know why it's a believers have no book about their sins it's a believers have no book about their sins their sins have been forgiven so there's no guilt about you amen your names are only in the book of life there's no book against you but the unbelievers have books and books and books because of what you know why Say them all. nobody goes to hell because of sins. So never, never, never. Never. nobody never. goes to hell because of sins. No why they go to hell. They refuse to accept Jesus as a savior and confess their sins for forgiveness. No matter how sinful you are, your sin can be forgiven in one second. Just by what? Repenting and confessing your sins. But if you refuse to repent of your sins, you die now with all the books against you. But the child of God, there is no book against your life. The past is gone. Mm. Say the past is gone. The past is gone. There's no account against me. No account against Amen. You. The past is what? Gone. Your sins are forgiven. It is over. Yes. You have just a book of life with your name. But those who, who refuse to confess their sins and repent, their names now have big volumes about them. All their history. All their history, history of their sins is like against them. Okay, let's see, please. Uh, verse 13. Now let's see verse, let's see verse 12, please. And I saw the dead, small and great, be stand before God. And the books were open, another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the death which were in it. And, the, and death and hell delivered up the death which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And the death and death and hell are you there? were cast into the lake of fire which is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Hello? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Hmm. So this is the saddest day when people stand before the judge and then unfortunately your name is not in the book of life. No lawyer can help. No judge. No pastor. No archbishop can save you then. No Catholic priest can pray for you in a mass and change it. It's too late. This is the resurrection of the ungodly. All the, all the ungodly. From Adam and Eve. They are still waiting for resurrection. But the dead said dead in Christ. I'm ready to read it. And the dead, the Old Testament saints have what? The resurrection. But here, all the dead without Christ, without God, they stand before God. And books and books and books. Their names are so many. So there are so many books. Volumes upon volumes. And they will now be judged. Judge why? According to their works, according to their works, amen. According to the, so we call this the white throne judgment. The white throne judgment. Uh, there are two types of big words for judgment. There's one demon judgment, judgment of the saints. It's called what demon judgment. It's judgment for reward. See, are we are we judge? So are we judge by God for reward? So when God judge you. Call angel, touch the book of life, call your name. If you judge to do what? To reward you. Based on your integrity in ministry. Based on how you respond to the call to serve God. Okay? You know, judgment is coming against the church in the world. I'm mentoring a lot of pastors in Africa. I'm so so touched by the fakeness, the fake pastors rising up. It's terrible. In Africa now, church is a trade. Is what? I mean, church is what? Like you do carpentry? 
<laughs> engineering to be a pastor is what? It's a trick. That contractors say, okay, we want to hire you. Contractors hire what? The pastor. Build a church for you on percentage. It's happening now in Nigeria. I'm believers. I want to say something so. Is it true? It's true. Contractors will hire what? So we see the gift in you. You can be you can be a good minister. Who, 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 you know, and they hire you, build you a church. You are preaching, but after Sunday, the offering is very different. But you have the contractors who are hiring you. You are now an agent. It's no more preaching from for God. Oh. It's how to raise money. Just me this coming. So there are many believers today. Why are you in church? Why are you singing? Are you really worshiping God or you're just doing it for? I got a call last week from a church. Um, we're looking for a music minister to hire. Music work. Say so it's good, you know. So the contact the man, the man gave the price, the price was too high. So they say, come, come on, come on, play on Sunday, let's see your skill. The man wanted Sunday to do what? To perform. It's not, it's not singing on Sunday, worshiping God, is he what? To perform for his job. Jesus. So on Sunday, he was singing to do what? To perform all his skills to be employed. Hey. So you think that on Sunday, singing is worshiping God? No. Waiting for his paycheck after singing. And that is what church are doing now. Look for what hired music ministers who are performers, actors, say actors, actors. in the pulpit. Say actors. actors. The, you know, you know, the performing, okay, it's not bad. But now they are not singing like gift of the Holy Ghost. They are singing for a salary. They are not burdened what I glory come down. That, that's not a job. They are not burdened for souls being saved. That's, that's you know, that's not a concern. And if they don't pay them, they quit. Okay, if they don't pay them, they leave. <laughs> to be a child of God, I'm going to be raptured, is going to be a serious business. Say never. You'll be, You'll be offended. You'll be wounded. You'll be tried. You're going to be shaken. Just to lock their soul to be, to be lost. I mean, you're going to be shaken. You are going to be tempted. You are going to be tried. You are going to be discouraged. You are going to get obstacles. Just the devil looks to you, look for every means to discourage you to lose your soul. You have all the right not to worship God. But for the sake of your soul. Say, for the sake of my soul. No matter what happens. No matter what happens. I tell my friend that I have, I'm on a one-way traffic. <laughs> on a one-way world. No matter the slowness, you have no way to reverse. Just continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep on going. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one now, number six, restoration, the last one for today. Romans 6, 4 and 5. Ephesians 2, 1, 5 and 6. Romans 6, 4 and 5. Are you there? The sixth resurrection. This is resurrection unto a higher dimension of life in Christ. Being alive in the in your spiritual life. It says, Therefore, we were buried with him in baptism unto death. That like as Christ was raised of the dead, the rest of the dead. Is that for what? Resurrection. As Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in what? Newness of life. Say newness of life. Newness of life. And in the place of newness of life, put what? Resurrection life or resurrected life. You should walk, you should walk, walk, walk out in your what? Resurrected, resurrected life. life. This newness of life is a resurrected life. The, we were dead. Say, I was dead. I was dead. And buried. And, buried. and now I have what? My resurrection. Say, Nebo. You are no more a seed. You are a harvest. You are a harvest. You know, you know the difference? 
Say that one more. Rebel. Yeah, no more seat. You are harvest. Nobody take a seat, okay? I don't the nice seat. It's a little seat, right? You plant it. What about you get a restoration? It comes out a cup of corn. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So listen, please. Are you following me, church? Amen. Hallelujah. So a child of God. Look at this. I'm in here. It's a child of God. A true child of God should live what? The resurrection life. Your old is gone. You are living now a new life. It is not more the old of you, it's what the glorified you. Say the glorified me. Say by my own power. I cannot live in this glory. But because of this newness, my resurrection life, I can live in this dimension now. So those who are living in Christ, in the flesh, they need a resurrection. They need a spiritual resurrection. Will your spiritual man come back to life? Ephesians 2, please, verse 1, verse 5, and verse 6. Ephesians 2, verse 1, verse 5, and verse 6. Hallelujah. And you have he resurrected. Are you there? Ephesians 2. Are you there, church? Yes. Be sure it's in the Old Testament, not at all. No. <laughs> Anybody here have good news this morning? Yes. Good, good news? Yes. Which one is good news? We have good news. Uh, we have good news. Anybody good news? Yes. Which one is good news? The word of God. No, I mean good news Bible. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Amplify, anybody have Amplify Bible? Okay, mind. The verse says what? Listen, are you there? And you have he what? Picking. Ephesians 2 verse 1. So you have he resurrected. Say neighbor, I'm a resurrected being. I'm a resurrected being. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Even when you were dead in sins, have he raised. It's a race Race. to get out with Christ, and by grace he has saved, and has resurrected us up together. Look at that. And I've done what? Resurrected Resurrected us up together with Christ, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So God is saying what? Amen. As Christ died, was buried, and was resurrected, you also have what? You died. And God has what? Persuaded you now to see with Christ in where in heavenly places. Now, this is the normal life of Christians. So this is the normal life for Christians. I died. I was buried. And my life now is what? The resurrected life. The old you is there. It means it is no more your level. Are you a person? It is what? Resurrected life. You are in a new dimension, it's a new dimension. New dimension. Where the laws of nature, the laws of nature, the laws of sin cannot bind you anymore. You can say with God, I can do all things. Hallelujah. Because there's a new law working in your life. Colossians 1, 3 verse 1, our last verse, please read for me. Colossians 3 verse 1, we'll end there this morning. Colossians 3 verse 1. Hallelujah. Anybody can read for me, please? If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are about where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Set if, your mind on things above, not on things above. If you are the one raised with Christ, it's the more, you know, what are you doing? Know, so now it says for those of us who have had this resurrection, our focus now is on things above, where Christ is seated. The laws of darkness cannot bind you again. Hello? Hello? Hi. Say, after death. After death. Sin has no power over me. Sin has no power. So you're no more dealing with, uh, the devil tempted me here. You, oh, I was, I'm struggling here. Hello? Say, neighbor. Neighbor. After resurrection. After resurrection. You are not struggling with sin. Say, neighbor, 
After resurrection. You know what? So people I see struggling, you see a girl, you, you, you know. One person said to me, um, you know, I don't understand some people live in Christ, okay. Everything is for the temptation. Everything is what? A girl greets you is what? Temptation. It's still in the flesh. When you die in sin, are you following yourself? You die in what? Sin. It's not everywhere. It's temptation everywhere. No, 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 no. Die in sin. Amen? Joseph was pulled by a woman in a, in a bedroom. Joseph said, not me. Not what? Not I me. ran out. Amen? You must die. Say neighbor. Look at the person neighbor. Look at the neighbor. Die in Jesus' name. Die in Jesus' name. Look at the person neighbor. Die in Jesus' name. Die in Jesus' name. I have to say die in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. That flesh must die. And live a resurrected life, we can have confidence. Amen. Amen. They have confidence. They have confidence. But listen, never have confidence in a man who is in a life. Never have what? The man who is in a life. It's dangerous. I can trust a true child of God if you are, I know you are dead. But those who are still alive, <laughs> money, temptation, come. Give a hundred dollars, temptation, do what? Everything for them is what? Temptation. Everything is temptation. Can we start a place together? Hallelujah. So, these six resurrections, we, we are privileged to be waiting for the trumpet. Die. Lord, give, show us grace. Let our family members come to Christ, Lord. Let our friends come to Christ, Lord. Let our children come to Christ, Lord. As we preach the gospel of God, that men and women will sponsor the message of salvation of God. There is no salvation in any other way except through the blood of Jesus. Have mercy, O God, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for yourself today that no one, nothing would, would influence you to sin against God, against your soul, and lost your salvation. Let nothing, 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 nothing. You need to pray. I will pray to the God that no power will deceive me to fall out of grace. No power will deceive me to fall out of grace, O God. Bangando mokyo shibeke sambiara, bokore beke sieto, rombo rikiara, shibi bibi ke sambiara, boro ko shibiara. Give us grace, O God. 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 Be glorified today. As we pray in Jesus' name. Before I close to that today, if you are here today, you can be going to church all your life that you are not sure of your salvation. You are not sure that if Christ come now, you will be raptured. And you want to accept Jesus Christ today. You want us to help you confess your sins to Christ and be born again. Let's see your hand, please. Anybody here? You want to accept Jesus today? You want to be born again? You want to say no more darkness, no more darkness, no more sin? Think, is that me yourself? Is anybody here today want to be saved? Want to break the whole life? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say the name of Jesus. I receive the grace. I receive the grace. To be strong. To be strong. No antichrist. No antichrist. No modern life. No modern life. No evil influence. No evil influence. In the world. In the West. Will influence me. Influence me. To become lukewarm. To become lukewarm. Amen. Have your seat, please. So go, go outside. I'd like to text your friend about the six resolutions. Share it here, prayer line. Share it with friends. 